Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually going to be doing the second episode for comparing SOLIDWORKS to Fusion 360. Today we're talking about specifically the costs of the two, how we can acquire them, and why you may want to choose one over the other. If you like this video, if you find it helpful, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon because I'm continually posting videos comparing these programs as well as making educational videos on their features, what, how you can use the program, shortcuts, all sorts of different things. So definitely hit that subscribe button. All right, we're gonna jump on over. And I first and foremost have some disclaimers, two of them. One, these are the prices for 2021. Obviously, sometimes things will change with prices over the years, but that's just something to put out there. SolidWorks has claimed, from what I was told by in school, as well as from sales reps, that they have not changed their price since they um, came out with the program, I think back in the 80s, which is impressive, which is very impressive. Um, but uh, I, I may be wrong there, but that's just what I've been told. Second disclaimer is these are prices in the US dollars. Sorry, I don't have access or knowledge of prices elsewhere. Um, so yeah, uh, Fusion 360 should be a lot easier to find out as well, whereas SolidWorks, you'll have to contact a sales rep in your respective countries. So we're going to from there move on to fusion 360 fusion 360 is great they have three free versions the first version is actually what i have is a startup license that as well as the educational license are full versions which is awesome you have all of the features that you have in a professional license startup there are some uh, qualifications that you have to meet and each year you have to renew that license i think up to three years I do have another video for this as well as for SOLIDWORKS breaking down a little bit more in depth of what's included in each of these licenses, and so check those out afterwards. The uh, educational license, you have to be in school. You have to be able to prove that you are a student and in doing so they have an application uh, they have to go through. Hobby license is nice. It's, it's really very much what you'd expect from a hobby license. It is completely free, though there are some limited factors of features that aren't there as well as it's uh, you don't have as much um, space that you can save as many files you can only work on so many files at a time and then the last version is the professional license which is five hundred dollars a year and that's my biggest hang up really with all of their pricing system is that it is a subscription base i hate subscriptions you hate we, we all hate subscriptions it's just really annoying um, that being said five hundred dollars a year is really quite doable if you're doing any freelance work and even if as a hobby thing that's that's it's a bill to pay for sure but it's not terrible compared to a lot of other 3d modeling programs out there um, so we're just going to move on to SOLIDWORKS SOLIDWORKS is a lot more complicated there's a lot more options so I have it split up into free quote unquote as well as paid the reason why I have it in quotations is because it's a little bit more complicated than just free so you have your entrepreneur startup license, which is free, but it's a little bit more exclusive. If you aren't selling a specific product, then you don't qualify. So if you're a hobbyist, if you are an educator, or if you're a consultant, uh, you don't qualify, which I happen to be all three. So great. Uh, educational license. There's a question mark next to that one because it depends on your university. SOLIDWORKS you have to purchase through a sales rep. However, you cannot get the educational version from a sales rep as a student. You have to go through your university. And with that, um, it just depends on your school. Personally, I had to pay uh, an additional $100 class fee to get the license. Had it for a year. Um, but I have friends that went to schools where it was completely free. So <clears throat> it really just depends on your university or your college that you're at. Online trial environment. That's very much just a sandbox. It's a, it's on their actual website, SolidWorks website, where you can go and you can just mess around on the, the program, but you're not downloading anything. You can't save anything. It's just a trial environment. Um, one other thing to note about free is you can get a month-long trial free version from both SolidWorks and Fusion 360. I didn't mention that earlier. Paid versions, they have two different types of paid versions. They have a term license, which is kind of like a rental. You can rent for three months to a year, as well as a standalone license, uh, which is you have it, you buy it, it's on your computer, it's yours, period. You've bought it, love it. And within both of those, they have three tiers. They have a standard, a professional, and a premium. In all intents and purposes, most people that are gonna be watching this video that are, are hobbyists or even students will probably never really need anything higher than a standard version. So the prices, 
SolidWorks is much more expensive and for for good reason. It is an industry standard. There's a lot more features and a lot more things you can do with it. Um, but I'm not going to go over the individual prices. You can see them right there. Uh, I personally think the standard three month rental, it's not a bad idea to, to look into at some point. Uh, let's say you use Fusion 360 for a number of years and you're, you're curious about SolidWorks. Though it is expensive, if you're doing freelance work, $800 you should be able to pay off in three years, or sorry, three years, three months, uh, and be able to see is this something that really worth my time and money. My personal opinion is there. Other than that, I don't see a good, a real good reason to paying a term license if you're planning on using SolidWorks for a long term. Um, and then the standalone license, these are the ones you buy. They're on your computer. It's like you got a, as if you had a disc and you downloaded it onto your computer. Um, standards 4,000, professionals 5.5, premiums $8,000. Big chunk of change. Um, but again, you buy it, you have it. There is, an, as you can see underneath, the annual subscription fee. What that is, is if you want, you can buy the standalone license, and then each year you can pay a subscription fee to upgrade to the next version. So next year, 2022, 2023, etc. However, you don't have to. You can opt out of it. But if you opt out of it, and let's say in 2025, you're like, ah, it's kind of getting dated. I'd like to update, see what new features there are. Um, I'm going to upgrade. You can't just pay that $1,300 for the, that standard annual subscription fee and get that fifth, uh, 2015 version. You would actually have to pay a backlog of all of the other versions you didn't get. And so at that point, it's just cheaper just to buy another standalone license. So that's a big bummer as well. That's a, that's a huge bummer. Um, but that's just how they have it set up. So comparing them side by side, you can see Fusion 360 is a lot simpler. It's a lot more straightforward. And for general hobbyists and, and even companies, you can do a lot with Fusion 360. A lot of YouTubers, I know Colin Furs uses Fusion 360, uh, and I love his stuff. I know a lot of other makers and a lot of tinkerers, a lot of engineers and designers, they use Fusion 360 because it is it is quite affordable. Um, SolidWorks, so I mean, people will pose the question, well, why bother with SolidWorks? It's so stupid expensive. There are a couple of reasons why you might want to. If you're just getting into 3D modeling, SolidWorks really isn't going to be for you. Um, but if you've gone to school for engineering or for design, it is a standard in a lot of companies. And so it is something good to not only know, but also to keep up with. And that's why you get a lot of designers and, and engineers that do freelance work, is to be able to pay for programs like this. Um, and so... It is something in my mind that is good not only to keep up with, but to continue using. I personally prefer SolidWorks over Fusion 360. There's a lot more you can do with it. It's a lot more powerful program, and it can just handle so much more. But that being said, again, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Just use Fusion 360, which is fine. It's it's not a bad program. Uh, and so, yeah, that's just kind of a quick rundown of the price schemes of the two. Uh, if you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see any comments that people have, any questions, and and as well as corrections. I may have made some mistakes here. Uh, I, I feel like I did a pretty good job. If you have any uh, like qu questions you want to like dive a little bit more in depth of what is involved and what is included in each license, I'll have SolidWorks's license uh, videos going more in depth here, and for Fusion 360 right here, those are videos I've already done. And those just, yeah, delve more, a little bit more into what specifically is included with each license. Uh, other than that, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, keep modeling.